Harmony Email and Office is a cybersecurity solution for cloud email and productivity suite, including Office 365 Email, SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, G Suite Gmail, and Google Drive. Harmony Email and Office delivers all the protection you need at the security level you deserve in a single and cost-effective solution for your email and productivity applications. So let's take a look at Harmony Email and Office in action. We will show the simple onboarding process and then demonstrate four types of attacks across Office 365 email and OneDrive. Onboarding with Harmony Email and Office is extremely easy. All you need to do is choose the specific application you want to onboard. Pick the Microsoft account, enter the credentials, and you're ready to go. We will start with a phishing attack demonstration. Let's start by sending an email with a phishing link in the form of a password reset email from PayPal. We insert the phishing link and send the email to the victim. Now let's have a look at what happened on the Harmony email and Office platform. We can see a security event for this phishing email, which was blocked and never actually reached the user. We can then click on the event for more details. On the right-hand side, we can see the anti-phishing engines that were triggered by this email, like brand impersonation, sender reputation, links, and more. Admins can choose to restore the email from quarantine, as well as view the original email in order to make better security decisions. Now we will test Harmony Email and Office with malicious attachments and files. We will send two malicious files as attachments to an email. We compose the email, attach the malicious files, and send it to our victim. Back on the Harmony Email and Office dashboard, we can see the security event of the malicious email that was blocked. Let's see why it was blocked. In the email profile view, we can see the engines that inspected the email and attachments, and what they found. Admins can choose to drill down further to see the attachment information. In this case, we will choose the Word document that was found to be malicious. And here we can see the security stack. For complete visibility into the malicious attachment, we can click on the Threat Emulation Report to view the full details of the malware. Inside the report, we can see a variety of indicators as to why this file was blocked, like the type of malware it was, the types of files associated with this specific attack, and the type of emulations that Harmony Email and Office ran on it to verify that this file is indeed malicious. Admins can choose to see the emulation videos for more in-depth details. Now let's try to do the same thing, but on OneDrive we upload the malicious file to our OneDrive account. Although it may seem like the file was uploaded successfully, when a user tries to open it, the file does not actually open. Harmony Email and Office removed it since it was malicious. If we look at it from the admin point of view on the dashboard, we can see in the security events, two events representing the two different engines that inspected the file for malicious behavior and eventually removed it from the OneDrive account the antivirus engine, and the threat emulation engine, which is our advanced sandbox. Moving on to the data leak prevention, or DLP, capabilities of Harmony Email and Office. Here we can see an employee sending sensitive information, in this case, a credit card number, through an email. When we look at the Harmony Email and Office dashboard, we can see a security event that indicates this email was blocked due to sensitive data leak. If we drill down, we can see the policy that was triggered here and caused the email to be blocked, which in this case is a compliance policy related to PCI, blocking emails containing credit card numbers. Now we will explore the account takeover prevention capabilities. Harmony Email and Office integrates with your identity provider to augment the authentication chain and add a security layer to ensure users' accounts are not hijacked. This capability is available in both agent and agentless mode. We will demonstrate a policy that allows users to bring their own device, provided that the device has a Harmony Email and Office ID Guard agent on it, and that the device is not compromised. 
we configure the rule to allow any device with an ID Guard agent to log in with no need for user's involvement, but only if the device is not compromised with malware. We then try to log in from a device with an agent installed, and we can see the login is successful. But what if we install a malware on the device? Now we will try to log in again with the malware installed, so the device is compromised by the malware on it. And we can see that the login was rejected, and the user can't sign in because their device is infected. Security admins can look into the login events and see the details of the successful logins as well as the blocked logins. As you saw, Harmony Email and Office enables organizations to stay secure from the most advanced attacks on emails and productivity applications, delivering bulletproof security through a one-stop shop for all security functionality across all applications. Admins manage one simple dashboard and create custom policies tailored to their organization's needs, ensuring no attacks ever reach users, no account is compromised, and no sensitive data leaves the organization.